Hello! Hi! Uh, in this tutorial I want to show you how I created the glitchy distortion effect. Let me quickly open the patch in which I made this. So. Floop. Yeah. Huh. Ah, right, okay. There they are. Uh, let me just quickly set up the scene here. Cool. Okay, so basically, I am talking about this effect. The glitch shader, which I am going to be using a lot in the future. Right. Let's create this glitch shader from scratch. First, we are going to need a jit.world with a given name. And let's make, well, we need to send a bang for later every frame. Give the jet world a toggle. And I always like to turn the render off and on with my R key, which happens to be 114. Cool. In our world, we want to have a detail.grid shape. Let's scale it. Uh, scale it down a bit and let's send it over to post note this is not the uh, name of the jit.world but this is going to be the name of jit jl.node um, jit jl.node can also capture given content, render content in this case, and uh, we are sending over the grid shape over to the ggl.node and with the capture one that means that it's the sphere is actually drawn in the node and it sends it out over the left outlet. If we turn on the render there's the sphere. Cool. So with this uh, given matrix, we can use a shader in between uh, what it's sending out. So in this case, we are going to put a jgl.pics there and a jgl.video plane with the world name. Give it a transpose transform reset to so that it fits the whole screen no matter what, and a depth clear to not have any interference of other drawn objects. Basically, depth clear one. And now, if we send over the uh, GGL that picks to the video plane, it's going to render back to the world and there is our sphere again. So yeah, this is, <laughs> this is the basic principle of um, using uh, pixel shaders as post-processing steps. Cool, so within this jitgl.pix we are going to write the pixel yeah. displacement shader. Why pixel displacement? Because we're going to grab the original matrix and displace it with another matrix. And we can do that with the sample object. The sample object um, can basically displace pixels with another uh, set of given coordinates. So, dun, 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 dun. let's bring the documentation out sample a matrix. Sample a matrix at a given coordinate. Normalized. So, um, 
yeah, basically it takes uh, the original matrix in its left input and then it takes the um, set of coordinates in, it, in its right input. And what they mean with normalize it is, well, basically norm, short for normalized. So we are going to give the norm normalized matrix to the right input and let's see what comes out of it now exactly the same <laughs> this is great if we um, if we didn't have the norm right there it will look like this all right oh, pretty much the same so if we just um, if we would have attached an empty matrix our sphere would disappear and we don't want that we want to have the sphere or the yeah the normal render context and then we'll add a displacement map so we want to add a displacement map to the normalized image like this cool and what do I mean with a displacement map? A displacement map can be pretty much anything. Your camera input or, I don't know, your own picture, drawn image. I don't know, as long as it, it's, it's a matrix, basically. So we can make a jit.noise. One, float, 32, 10 by zero. Let's displace it with a jit.noise. I don't know what comes out of it, but ah, ill. <laughs> well, there we go. It's already going bonkers. Um, but that doesn't really look that aesthetically pleasing. So um, what I did was I added an actual glitchy movie to um, as a displacement map. In this case, we can grab the help file from GTL movie to copy this bit to get it to uh, create a frame every frame that we generated with our JetBot world and let's read in a glitchy movie I need to find this one just a second. So, uh, bear with me. This is not an SSD computer. So <laughs> this is going to take a little while. Oh my God, oh my. Let's find the folder I put the glitchy video in. Da -da 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 -da. Come on. All right, movies. And then glitch. Just to show you a little preview of what this displacement map is. This is this is it. With this set of uh, pixels, we're going to displace the original set of pixels and that's all there is to it we just add it over into the right inlet and voila that's it that's the whole shader we can add um, um, sort of an amplitude parameter just to increase and decrease the, the glitch effect by adding a param amp, set it to one. Amp, 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 amp. Right, so oops, no glitch and a little bit of glitch. 
a little more and a little more and etc. You can go crazy with it. You can even, um, yeah, set an envelope follower to it and have it glitch to audio. I don't know. Well, that's it. This is the glitch shader. <laughs> it was so much easier than I would have ever imagined. <laughs>